Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Thank you for joining us this time. As we tour our RV this time, in this video, we are touring the Grand Design Reflection 337 RLS Rear Living. Let's get into it. We're gonna show you the outside first and then Jen is gonna show you the inside. So let's get to it. So on this side here, we have our two awnings as you saw in the outside on the clip there on the jape that you saw both of them are pretty cool and gives us plenty of shade on the outside here outside area and that is the main area that we entertain in and then our stairs those stairs actually didn't come with the rig it actually had the flip out stairs and so it was a super super simple install to do we just did a couple screws in the top we did the three stair system because with the four stairs sometimes you actually cannot even get them down in some places so we decided to go with the three stair system So with the storage area, don't mind the mess, but we actually have tons of storage under there. You can load a lot of stuff in there. We actually have been overweight a couple times. We've had to reduce some things and get rid of stuff because we just load so much in there. And, but it's a great pass through storage and it's amazing. And then on the front, is all our stickers we're doing all our stickers right here on the front of the door so that way it's just centrally located we love the area that we decided to put all our stickers on and some of the big name rv channels on here as well that we got to meet and that video is coming out soon come around to the front we got 30 gallon of propane on one side 30 gallons on the other We went with the Gen Y hitch. It's the gooseneck. It is an amazing hitch to have versus the kingpin, which adds a lot of weight in the truck. So we didn't want that. We have the X brace for stabilization by Moride. They're amazing to eliminate all a lot of that swaying back and forth that the RV does. And that really helps the rig under here yeah. so we have the Victron system set up I did that whole install myself we're gonna I'm gonna show you another video coming out with that how we actually did that video and that video how we did that install we got the Honda 2000 generator that sits up here and all our cables and wires stay up in this front area so let's go to the other side so coming around to this side we have the other propane like I said the third other 30 gallon then this is the other side of the pass-through. Ma magnetic doors, so you, they just stay opened when we need them to. We have the auto level by the LCI control. It's an amazing system that we love. Just one push of a button and the whole rig levels itself. So. This is the area where we keep our uh, slinkies, stinky slinkies, and everything um, that we need for sewer hoses, and then our water uh, hoses, and then we have the Nautilus system that is an awesome, where we can just change it to whatever we need to quickly go to dry camping, to power fill, to flushing, and everything 
everything's right there and very convenient. That is pretty much it for the outside. Let's go see what Jen has for the inside. All right, guys, today we're going to take you on a tour of our RV, so come on in. <coughs> All right, so as you can tell, when you walk right in the door, there's this bar area. We haven't really figured out what to do with this part because we used to have an ice maker, but our new fridge has an ice maker. So now we just got to figure out what we want to do with this. But as you can see, this is kind of our coffee slash liquor bar and it's nice and big and I like it because if we were ever had friends over, we could just kind of put some ice here and let people come and make their own drinks or get their own coffee. So I really like that. We have all the storage here, of course, which is nice. We have our coffee cups and all of our regular cups in here. Um, this is just for kind of more liquor and our um, some of our beer cups and stuff. And um, we can keep coffee stuff in here as well. So, uh, and then this is just our plates and stuff like that. Nothing exciting here. And then this is our brand new fridge that we got in November. Um, we didn't like the fridge that it came with because obviously, as you guys know, for those of you that live in an RV or have ever RV'd, they come with that like propane or electric RV fridge, which we don't like because we feel like it doesn't keep stuff as cold, especially when we're traveling down the road for quite a few hours during the day. So we have this, it's really nice. It's double door and it's also counter depth. So that way when we travel, it doesn't mess with the counter and the counter doesn't mess with it. But nice and big as you can see. And then our freezer is also full out and it has this top part, but then it also has the bottom part, which is super nice. So we love it. it gives us lots of space, a lot more space than a RV fridge would give. Um, this is our stove, Ninja Foodie. I love this thing. It does everything you can like bake in this thing. You can obviously air fry, you can pressure cook, but you can also like bake and uh, you can bake cookies and stuff like that. And it's not just baking like chicken, you know, that kind of thing, but you can pretty much do anything. I can actually make yogurt in here too, which is super cool. Um, and then our oven, this is our other countertop. This is my favorite part because I have this area for prepping or I can prep on that area and then put everything here. Um, we actually had some friends that we were hanging out with a few days ago and we ended up having a lot of food and I was able to kind of put everything here and let them kind of grab what they wanted and as much as they want. And then this is the pantry. It's got lots of space. Um, we did buy this off Amazon because when we were moving in here, I wasn't sure where I was going to put all of my spices because I had other plans for the other shelves. And um, I actually do still have a few spices on this shelf here, but for the most part, we needed something else so that I could fit all of our spices in here in the pantry because I didn't have anywhere else that I thought I could put them. So this is this has been nice and it stays when we travel. It doesn't move either. So, And then over here is our sink. We have this really cool um, water filter that we got from a great company in Prescott Valley, Arizona. Um, her name is Vicki. Her store is called H2O Health. Um, she's a wonderful woman. She's amazing. Um, she sells all these like water filters. She sells the best water that you will ever taste in your life. She sells like vitamins and supplements. So she has kind of an whatever you need a health, store, health a, store, a health store. Yeah, a health store for like anything you would think health. But anyway, so we got this from her. Um, this actually gives us 10,000, right? 10,000 gallons of fresh water. So we won't before. need, before we have to change the filter. So we bought this last September. We won't need a new filter until this coming September. So it lasts, or maybe even less, I don't know. Or more, I mean. But we'll, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, this lasts at least a year. So say you're a family of like four and you're using it a lot, it would last you about a year. Maybe Daniel and I a little more we're just going to kind of see what happens but this these are amazing they have bigger ones you can put underneath your sink um, but we just thought the countertop one was better for us because it's just us two and we didn't really need anything bigger um, and then this is the fireplace the tv there's storage up here it's just uh this is the radio um this is just some of daniel's stuff and then over here is just our our Wii, our DVD player. And then this is our couch. Um, Daniel got this off Amazon. It's like a sister couch of a love seat, I guess you, a love sack, I guess you could say. Um, 
We were trying to find a love sack, but we ran out of time when we were in Arizona. So we'll re we'll re look at that when we get back to Arizona. But the nice thing about this is we could buy two more of these seats and um, create like a sectional, kind of like a little lounge, chase lounge, or it could be a bed if we had two more of these. And also the nice thing about that is if we had two more and we were traveling, we could just flip them upside down and put them on top of these so that the slides would be able to go in. Mm -hmm. um, but this creates extra storage as well. So there's extra storage under both of these cushions, which is very nice. Um, the arms. In and the, the arms go down. Um, I know we have a video of us installing this, so I'm sure you'll be seeing that soon. Um, it was pretty much, we could have just bought this couch at Ikea because the instructions came with pictures and no words. That was interesting. Um, and then up here is just games and puzzles and um, yeah. So that's just our um, storage for all of that. Oh my goodness, I'm worried that's gonna pop open while we're traveling. Okay, sorry. Um, and then this, these are our recliners. We like them, but shortly after we got them, they started flaking and shedding. So we had to buy this um, cover for it, which the cover's, I guess, okay. It helps keep the shedding underneath the cover instead of getting all over Daniel and I and all over the floor. Um, we will eventually be looking at a different reclining love seat, but for now this works and it's really nice. Um, and then up here is just storage for books, for all of our books and things like that. So, which is, to me, I feel like it's pretty big, so that's good. Holds a lot of books. I think I might also rearrange the books too, but anyway, I'll do that later. Um, now we're going to go up to the bathroom and the bedroom, so follow me. Oh, and then, sorry, this is our the other part of the slide. We used to have a table here, but we didn't like it, so we got rid of it. As you can tell, we're kind of just using it for extra storage space, but once we get back to Arizona, um, we want to get a desk that Daniel and I can sit at, but we also want a desk and chairs that can like maybe fold in or fold up so that way they'll be out of the way um, when we're traveling or if we needed this space for something else temporarily. So we're gonna be looking into seeing um, what we can get that would be feasible for this space and still allow us to do other stuff. So let's go up this way. Okay, this is like the little hallway. Um, these there's a bunch of decorations up here on the wall um pictures and stuff a lot more than down there because there's a lot more wall space up here but um when i was putting these up last summer i actually used the heavy duty like velcro command strips from home depot and they work amazing these literally none of this stuff has moved and we've been in on some bumpy roads and things like that and everything just stays and some of these things are a lot heavier than others but they still haven't moved. So I, if you guys, if any of you are looking for something to hang things with that is durable and sturdy, I recommend the commands, the Velcro command strips from Home Depot. All right, let's go into the bathroom. This is the sink and um, the counter space doesn't look like it's really big, but I actually like it because it does allow us to put what we need up here on the counter, which works for us. This is a medicine cabinet, which I do get a little scared to open sometimes after we've traveled because things come flying out at me. Um, but it serves its purpose and it's a lot deeper than I expected it to be. And it works very nicely for what we need it to. Um, and then under here is um, just a lot more storage. It goes back way more than I thought it would, which is nice. So we are able to put a lot of things in there. And then this is just in there is just deodorant that kind of stuff and down here is stuff for our dogs and so it's just random stuff in there up here is um storage space as well but we only use it for our beach towels because daniel installed all that wiring and stuff for our wi-fi and our internet so uh, we use it mostly for that and then here is our towels washcloths that kind of thing this goes back so far i can't even i know i'm short but I still can't reach the back wall. So that shows you how deep that goes. And then um, the shower, it's not super big, but it works for Daniel and I. And for those of you that have seen 
the tour of our old RV. <laughs> the shower is a lot bigger than that. Um, also, we have the Oxygenix shower head, which we love. So if any of you are looking for a new shower head, even if you live in a house, it doesn't matter. Um, you can still have it. It's Oxygenix. It's the best shower head I think that we've ever had, right, Daniel? Yep. I really love it. It's, uh, yeah, it's just amazing. So this is the bedroom, not super big, but um, we actually were able to fit a short king. So this bed's a short king um, because Daniel and I wanted a nice big bed in here. It is hard to walk around and make the bed. So I'm usually pushing, <laughs> pushing the comforter way up so that I can get on the bed and keep moving it up. But other than that, we love this bed. It's actually um, from Brooklyn Bedding and it's a, it's a hybrid bed. So it's made for an RV or a house and it is very comfy. Um, not then, sponsored. Not sponsored. Just, just saying that Brooklyn Bedding has amazing <laughs> mattresses for those of you that maybe live in an RV and you're looking for a new bed, or even if you don't live in an RV, if you camp a lot or weekend a lot and you want a nice, comfortable mattress, Brooklyn Bedding. Um, and then this is just our, this is our dresser with all the drawers. I really like that there's seven drawers because it allows us to have more space for our clothes. Not that we have a lot of clothes, but it just allows for a lot more space for our clothes, which is nice um, because our closet is big, but it's not, it's not a house closet, right? It's an RV closet. So um, if you want to turn around, Daniel, and I will show them the closet. So this is the closet space. <coughs> it actually goes back really deep on both sides. Um, and this closet was designed for a washer dryer if we wanted it, but we don't want it because it just adds extra weight and we are, our bedroom is at the front of our RV. So we didn't want to add that extra weight, but we have a lot of storage in here and we've been able to put a lot of things in here. Oh, and then this is really cool. We have this little shelf here that we use for all of our shoes and stuff like that. So that's really neat. And then there's a top shelf here that we use for just other stuff. And most of this stuff I'm surprised when we travel because we have to leave, we have to leave our closet doors open when we travel because I tried to keep them closed one time and they both fell off the tracks. Um, but none of this stuff at the top here actually moves and falls off. So that's really good. Um, it's got like kind of like a grip, I guess you could say. The material is kind of grippy. Um, but yeah, so we love this RV and we love the space that it creates for us. And, you know, eventually sometime down the road, we'll probably upgrade. But for now, um, this is our home and we're in love with it. So thank you for coming along for this tour and we'll see you on the next one.